All of this as some are criticizing the mayor's response to this violence. 7 News reporter Rebecca Turco joins us live from the scene of the crime. And Rebecca, the suspect's landlord, from what we understand, about to hold a press conference any minute. Good evening. She and her son are set to speak any minute now. I'm told she wants people to know she really did her due diligence trying to evict the suspect from this home before everything went down. Take a look at this. These are just some of the guns and ammo recovered from the home of the man who police say shot three officers while he holed himself inside, evading arrest for animal cruelty. Police say detectives recovered three handguns, two rifles, hundreds of rounds of ammo, and a bulletproof vest from Stephen Radigan's home. And that their initial investigation confirms a first responder fired their weapon during the standoff, but Radigan wasn't hurt. That use of force is being investigated as Radigan remains behind bars till he's back in court later this month. DC is not safe any longer. It is out of control. Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner Paul Trantham spoke with 7 News Wednesday as the standoff raged on, questioning why Mayor Muriel Bowser went to a previously scheduled event instead. She thought it was more important to attend a Valentine day event then to attend come over here to southeast and to address the issues of the gun violence mayor bowser did address the shooting at that event it goes to show you how important it is to support our police to make sure we're hiring the best of the best police during a Black History Month event today, though, she wouldn't take any questions. And she had no public events on her calendar yesterday. And they are right about to get this press conference started, so keep it here for the very latest. Reporting live in Southeast D.C., Rebecca Turco, 7 News. Thank you, Rebecca. 7 News with five stops at five now covering...